all the glory, be all the honor, be all the glory and adoration forever. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adenike Ali and I welcome you back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for joining me today. And to my old family members, my Ali fam, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back again, guys. Thank you so very much for tuning in today. Thank you very, very much. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. And I don't take your love for granted. Thank you so much. So I started the true life story of faith and trusting God last week. So we're going to continue that story now. This is something that happened to someone so close, close to me so dear to me and I've, I've been given permission to share the story but i'm gonna keep them anonymous this couple right what they have experienced if you didn't watch the prior video please make sure you watch it so in order for you to catch up with this week's storyline so we stopped at where they had to do scans right it's to know when she's uh producing eggs and when uh, when they can quickly fertilize it and so on and so and went to know her when her ovulation period is meanwhile the husband also was told to come for tests to make sure all is well with him also right results on both ends excellent excellent results so the doctor told them to meet at a certain date and a certain time unfortunately they did not meet that day Doctors asked them if they did, and they said no. But they did meet. You know, when I say meet, you... Uh -huh. They met what man and woman meet in the other room. Mm -hmm, that one. That kind of meeting. Yes, they met. But they didn't meet the day and time that the doctors told them. But they met the following day. A day after ovulation but the doctor told them you know what you didn't meet on the day I, on the day that i told you to meet but hey anything can still happen and then the lady said you know that's where i say it that's where where i say your faith right and your trust in god her response when the doctor said well you know you didn't meet when i told you to meet you know but hey but hey you know what anything can still happen the response the lady said was a miracle can still happen. Talk about faith in God. Talk about trusting God. The response was, I'll say it again, because that one shocked me too. She said, the doctor said, well, <laughs> anything can happen, Sha. You couldn't meet when I told you to meet, but mm, okay. Anything can happen. Her response was, a miracle can still happen. Hi. A miracle can still happen. And the doctor didn't say a word after she responded with that statement or with that assurance. <laughs> so she went home and her period was supposed to start. A period was supposed to start the day she was supposed to go for the results of the tests. So when she got to the doctor's office and everything was fine by then, no. So when she got to the doctor's office, doctor, we don't think, we don't tell her and say, uh, you know what? Anything can still happen. Doctor now asked her, when was she supposed to get her period again? And she said, today. My period is supposed to start today. So the doctor said, you know what? Let's do a pregnancy test. I mean, you're cuckoo here. Let's do a pregnancy test. And she agreed. She went to the lab with a slip from the doctor. And she was told that in 15 minutes, the result for the, of that pregnancy test will be out. And I know in her mind, 15 minutes is like 15 hours. When then the result was sent to the doctor. The, doctors, the doctor called her in and told her the result is positive. In her confused state of mind, she asked the doctor, what does positive mean? No. And the doctor said, she's pregnant. 
you know, you get confused after losing four babies and going through so much. She had to ask, what, what do you mean by positive again? And she was told, you're pregnant. So she was in such a state of shock that the doctor himself had to remind her what she said when he gave he made the statement to her and she responded no he said anything can still happen and she said a miracle can still happen Jesus. <laughs> and this was only five days into remo an interval of only five days between when that statement that conversation happened and when the test result of this now pregnancy came to pass five days meanwhile they had a church thanksgiving and there was a prophecy that there would be so many miscarriages that they should pray against miscarriages she was so happy with this new pregnancy so she slept and you know naija no light up nepa there was no electricity and she said she had a dream and she said in that dream right two women sat next to her eru olorun ba mi eru olorun ba mi o oun to ba ti pinu lokan re ko so un to le daduru eru olorun ba mi Eru olorun ba mi o ohun to ba ti pinu lokan re e da yi kan o de daduru and she said these two women sat next to her and were kneading her stomach like when you're kneading dough to make chinchin or to make puff puff or something they were kneading her stomach and then there was um then nepa brought light and she just started reading bible passages and praying Meanwhile, the two women disappeared. Then came the infamous 6 to 7 weeks timeline again, and she started bleeding. This is the fifth pregnancy. She started bleeding. She went straight to the hospital from work. So they did a scan. And the guy at the the lab that did the scan told her that the next time she should ask her gynecologist for medicine to insert into her you know vjj instead of evacuation but with faith <laughs> jesus christ with faith once again she told this this guy the lab scanning she radiologist don't know but whatever they call them the guy that was doing the scan i mean that was doing the ultrasound or oh, yeah the ult the scan right yeah that was doing the scan she told the guy that the next time you see me on this table you will hear the heartbeat of my baby the next time you see me on this table of yours oh heartbeat of mommy you will listen to it you will hear it clearly so the the guy the technician called the doctor and said no heartbeat oh we don't hear no heartbeat so the doctor now who already knows who his patient is that this is someone with faith said you know what let's give it another week we'll give it another week we'll ask her to come back for another scan so the doctor now is already tapping into this woman woman's faith so lo and behold she went back the following week and the technician said still no heartbeat called the doctor and told the doctor no heartbeat she was told to pray and fast <laughs> get anointing oil was given some bible passages to read which includes psalm 119 by the way to be read seven times and guess what bottles of anointing oil that she got 
six times they broke at different intervals six times they would just break and she would have to start the prayer again with each bottle of oil separately and the boy made it this child made it this time that miracle made it this time and then she got pregnant again the sixth pregnancy at the interval of and the pregnancy got to six seven weeks again timeline and alas that blithed ovum or blithed ovum came into effect again and they lost that pregnancy she got pregnant again the seventh time seventh time but this one got to 14 weeks and everything was fine before then 14 weeks everything was dandy everything was rosy doing journey was good and she had to go to the to the lab for a scan she got to the lab and the, the technician told her this time the sack is in bad shape was shapeless and there was no heartbeat shapeless sack no heartbeat and lost that pregnancy again but still did not lose faith still trusting god still trusted god then the eighth one got to that timeline again six to seven weeks mark and you know what she'll sing you no, Daniel chapter 6 verse 22, NIV version says, My God sent my God sent his angels and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because they found me innocent. Innocent in his sight, nor have I done any wrong before you, your majesty. She's, you know, years later, there was another pregnancy years and i mean years later i don't want to put the number of years but years later after this boy the lord did it again and she carried the baby to term and delivered the baby hail and hearty to the glory of god This was the ninth pregnancy. Can you imagine having nine pregnant, being pregnant nine times, only one child? After the, well, the ninth one was, I, I, being pregnant eight times, only one, ch one child, only one child. They got pregnant the ninth time and another child. A lot of women would have given up. And say, well, you know what? I can't even, I cannot even put myself to all that. I cannot even, you know, God has, I'm, I've gone in one, two, three, four, and no, I can't. But she didn't lose her confidence in God. And she knew that God is worthy of being trusted all the way. And she prays that God grants all women, every woman, that is waiting on the Lord for a fruit of the womb, for a preg healthy pregnancy and to put to bed safely. And she wishes and prays that the Lord will answer them speedily and that the Lord will heal every, every heartache, every part of their bodies that's rejecting children or rejecting babies from growing, that the Lord will heal those bodies. That's the story that I have today. God is good. He's worthy to be trusted and he's worthy to have faith in. That's the story I have for you. I'm sure this couple will be watching and they will know that God is indeed good. They know that already anyway. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so very much for watching. I leave it with love, peace, and joy. If you have always. not subscribed yet, please find it in your heart.
to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you've experienced this kind of thing before or know anyone that has experienced it, let me know. Put it in the comment section. Let's talk like about said, it. Let's just have faith in God. Let's trust him all the way. Even when the storms of life, you know, storms of health issues, storm, whatever storm it might be, is we're going through it. Let's trust in him wholeheartedly.